it, it got to the point of it's everybody right. thought Tip did the beats that he rhymed on, and Not everybody thought the remixes. Shape, and I did interviews, and they, and they asked me questions like, "Yeah, so Tip it did this and that." I'm like, "No, I did that." You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. so it's like, yeah. After a while, it, it got to be frustrating. You know what I'm saying? It led to tension and just. You know what I'm saying? Like complaints and you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, let's do this, let's do this. Trackmasters was actually the people on top. Man. You know, over there they're just killing it. Yeah, but, and, and we happen to have the same management, you know what I'm saying? So it's kinda like, how come we don't have the same exposure? The same? Slum was uh, the reason I'm even here. Like uh like I, I shopped slum to tip and that's how I actually got on. You know what I'm saying? Shopping the slum village demo. But and he called me, he was like he wasn't interested in the slums. Like slum has always been slept on. And I yeah, tell people like, still. you know, they, they think I'm either frustrated or bitter at them. It's like, no, nah, they, they gotta understand that. I, w I was there through all of that, yeah. through all of the rejection. So to see them do something successfully and somebody believe in them and put something out, it's like, I know how they feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of which, this reunion album, yeah. for this year, you got something to do Slum with Village will be back together. With JD? Yes, yes, yes. So it's four MCs now, but you know. You know, I got a question. How you feeling the uh, last slum LP? I mean, it's, you're, you're not. Honestly, it's like, you know, the, on, the only reason I, I say I, I'm not 100% into it is because I, I wasn't 100% into it. Yeah, exactly. I, I but how do you reason. feel about the slum now? Is that. Slum now. No, oh, it's, it's good now. Because yeah. I'm here. I, yeah, of you know course. But, but no, but you know, they needed that. It's like, I, I needed my space. Seriously, it's like. It was so much bullshit doing the shows, tension. I mean, wanted to just fight, but how can you? How can I fight this man? I gotta go on stage with him. And yeah. We backstage. All right, like Wu Tang is just like I, I didn't want to go through that. No. So that was that was the reason. The majority, like those shows, I just stay at home, work, let them do their thing. I, I do like main shows here and there, but it's kind of slowed up, man. We, we grew apart. You know I'm saying creatively, we do songs and, and be in totally different directions on on the rhymes and yeah. what you want to. Talk about like by ten. Want to talk about some totally spiritual? I want to talk about some girls. Yeah. Me, want to talk about you can hear that. amusement park. It's yeah. always been like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll right. yeah, and yeah. LZ is just you know what I'm saying he, he's lyrically, but he's yeah. just everywhere. Yeah. That's yeah. Why you put, uh, so it's like that's why you put Fat Cat and Frank right. Frank to, Frank even though you know what I'm saying, yeah. just kind of balance it because it's like it's so much shit, and, yeah. and you gotta the masses too. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. Get some of these people to buy the album, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, promote yourself, or make the label put more energy into you and shit, because without that, you'll just be sitting on the shelf. Yeah, somebody with no cash, with no record deal, anything. You know, and, and, and that's everywhere, that's yeah. everywhere. That's, that was me, I just got out of the MCA deal, yeah. like, just literally a month ago. I just signed a release, been asking for a release for over a year, been signed But I don't MCA. understand, because to me, I mean, like, you got your own sign, like Premier got his cut shit. And, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you so, got your own sign by putting the Soul clap a little early right, and right. stuff See, like that. I, and I, it cats bite you, man. Don't you? I, how you feel about that stuff? I mean, you're angry, it's, right? It's, it's both sides. <laughs> both sides. I respect it because when I hear good shit, it makes me want to go make something, but not make something like what I just heard. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference. It's like they take the inspiration, and, yeah, and then goes and do the exact same thing. I, I don't, I don't understand. That. Huh. You know, what I'm saying where. What I feel when I make music is like energy, but it's, it's not like, I'm not thinking about Premiere when I make no, it. No. I'm not thinking about P-Rock. I love their work. I, I love Dre. I love You got Timber. any inspiration source? Just it's like old records? It, what is old, old records? Um, you know, how I feel for the day. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't understand like um, how, how this shit comes through me or when I feel the urge to work. You know, it just happens. It's like, like I said, it's a move. You know what I'm saying? Some days I wake up and I might not want to want to make anything, yeah. but I get a phone call from Pete Rock, yeah, and it's back to the lab. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like anything will push me like that. But I don't have a set time. Like I just go in the studio at five o'clock, go up five o'clock. You know, it's kind of whatever. Madlib is my man, yo. I understand that stuff. Man, look. Where's the record though? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Exactly. Man, the J Lib, see, I got I gotta get with Stone's throw official. But it'll slide it for the first couple weeks in uh, February. Because like in Europe? Yes, yes, because um they, they have do you have the white label shit out here? Um yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's that. supposed to be out. Digital <laughs> Okay, you, right. You, you oh that one. It, yeah. That's it, like the J it was like, yeah, yeah. It was not not this is what happened. Um Madlib actually 
This is how I actually. I gotta explain it. Okay, come on, man. <laughs> we, I hooked up with Madlib because I, I love his work. How did you do that? Sir? It's like look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Start from the beginning. Man. Yes. Come on. I hooked up with Madlib because I love I love his work. Yeah. Bought his records. When I first heard Loop Pack, went crazy. Okay, who was this cat? So. I worked on my album through MCA. Since so about two years ago, mm -hmm. I actually got in touch with Madlib. Flew him out. He laid, he laid me like six tracks. Ridiculous. Ridiculous <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I got to do vocals to like one shit. Like what I was doing for my album was getting all the producers that I love. I wasn't doing none of the beats on my album. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted everybody who I listen to do all the beats. Just because. Yeah. They expected me to do all the beats. So, um, like I said, I got mad lip. Came down. Now, to go to the um, beat, the buster thing. After we hooked up, I found out that Madlib was demo making demos over beat tapes and yeah. JD beat CDs, <laughs> things of that nature. I ain't say nothing, you know. It's all good, you know. Then he sent me a copy. It's like a he, he sent me the CD of twelve songs. With like vocals, cuts. It was like an album of all JD beats in a week, right? Yes, yes. So I'm like, no, that's impossible. So, you know, I just called him like, you know what I'm saying? Don't take this the wrong way, but what's going on? Yeah. You know, like, and then I'm hearing about this this white label, 12 inch, this JD beat, and you're rhyming on it. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, you know. Just trying to yeah, you know it's all good, you know. Uh, so I'm like, I'm like, you my man's. So I just dropped it and I said, well, look, if we gonna do it, let's do it official. Let's let's do an album or something. Let's do an EP or let's just mess the industry up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hook up like that, do it and, do it and really do it. A week later, I sent him some beats. He sent me shit, man. You know, um, straight. Oh, we laid it. It's all set. Yeah, yeah. Just, just for this album, yeah. Just people will know. It, it, we didn't go in the studio and, and lay verses and track it down. And it was all straight off a of CD, overdub, and straight mixtape. Raw, raw. So everything you hear is straight two tracks. You know what I'm saying? And overdub. So, so it's just raw. We, that, that's how this shit sounded to me anyway. It was real raw. You know what I'm saying? That reminded me of Madness. So. I think it should be good, you know what I'm saying? It's like 20 I'm something curious, cuts, man. you know what I'm saying? No, Because nowadays you're you're into that synthetic sound. Right, right, right. right. Is that because uh, of sample clearance or is it? Yeah, you know what? Um, no, nah, not you know what it. That's a good note, cause um, samples played a good part in that, mm -hmm. in that whole movement. But even though I'm back, like this year, I'm back to chopping up break beats and <laughs> familiar break beats, substitution and shit. I mean, I'm talking about some crazy. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's why I'm at this year. Um, matter of fact, check for the um, new Daylight shit. Yeah. I, I chopped um, Genius of Love. Oh man, it's one of my favorites to this day, one of my favorite tracks. But um, yeah, back to that shit. But um, the synthetic shit I was fucking with, the keyboard, you know, that, that, that came from, like I said, the sample clearances. For the Tip album, it was so much hassle with samples. Uh, the UFO people, whoever, whoever that is. I, I don't even, yeah, I don't even know who that is. It's a common break, everybody used that. I just put it in the back of the track. We get a call after the Tip album was out with a lawsuit so big, like $100,000. For that little sound. Come on. I'm like, where's the love at? You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'll play my damn self. You know what I'm saying? You want 85% of my publishing and $100,000 here? This is JD, man. Yeah, this JD has a, a Jeep nowadays with a oh, booming yes. system. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Right? I got, a, I got the Dillalay. It's the Dillalay, not the Escalade. Yes. Cadillac. Dillalay. So, only one. So you ran outside just it's to check one. out your new yeah. beat oh, in the pool system? One. It's only one. You know what? It, I don't know where where I get that from. I, I didn't use I didn't used to be like that. It was it was never that way. I, I used to ride a regular truck and I was good with what I had. You know what I'm saying? Just after a while being around people and you see success and you see good shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you want to treat yourself to something. And that's all I did. I, I don't take it any more serious than that because it can be taken away from me. Yeah, exactly. As well as I got it. You know, as quick as I got it. So. Uh -uh. Yeah. It's just a, you know, going to, a privilege to go in the studio and it makes me go to work every day. Every day. Stay at it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm a, I love trucks and sounds and all that. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, yeah, what I do is um, when I make I make CDs, um, I put like two I call them two batches per CD, 24 beats per CD, and it's like uh, last year I did five volumes, so it was like 
24 beats in five seats. Do the math, huh? Yes. Um, but you know, 100 plus beats. So what I do, I just send them out to the labels, send them out to management. I have to stop doing that because yeah, I did because that last year. That yeah, and um, exactly. that's how the bootlegs. That's why I'm not yeah. giving you a tape right now. Right, here. right. So it's like, yeah, see? <laughs> exactly. say, yeah. It's like, um, that shit is crazy. You got to put some type of, see, I just learned that, you know what I'm saying? Last year, you got to put some type of sand or, yeah, some over it repetitively. It's like, you know, like I said, now I do it through the Pro Tools system, so it's a little easier to do that and, and stop all the bootlegs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now I put these nuts or some shit running all through the whole CD. You know what I'm saying? You hit every 30 seconds. It's just like, you, you can't just rap over it. Yes. Right. Exactly. So, you got to do that. And um, labels just start doing that also. You know what I'm saying? Just starting to figure out how to stop the bootleg. Right, right. It's like, Pay J is more of, um, that was the production side, like uh, exclusive production for MCA, actually. It was like, um, you know, I had the FC and, and Hey J, FC was about to turn into actually oh, like, actually FC was actually about to turn it turn into the production company, but we ended up using the Pay J. It was uh my legal, you know, like it's hard it's hard to explain. Like the legal and the attorney, they, they they like things that they can understand and see. Like the FC was just confusing for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So you write Pay J, it's, it's pretty easy to not to spell that, misspell that. Yeah, yeah. But that. You know what, what amazed me? That Royce the 5'9 joint. Yeah. That man. amazed me, man. Yo, man. It was like, what was right, this, right. man? That was the first some yeah, real yeah, synthetic yeah, yeah, yeah. shit see, I heard see. from you. I know, you know what? And I actually took a chance with that. I was like, uh, it's like Royce, he, he loved that type of shit, though. You know what I'm saying? He, he liked the glossier type of beats. So, like, I, I just, I do the, like, P, what P Rock does is he'll make beats for P. I don't usually do that. But it's just one, that one day I had that beat and it was just Royce in my head. So I actually, you know, passed it along to him and he was with me. And, you know what I'm saying? It just happened to, uh, it was supposed to be for some soundtrack at first, but, you know, they, they just released it as is. But that, that, was, that, was, that was one of my joints at that time. I'm like, yeah, I was glad that came out because it was different than what, what, what people were used to. You know what I'm saying? I didn't believe that shit. Yeah. But in the end, like, slowing down. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I had to freak. See, see now, now that was, we were just talking about people imitating. That was my similar impression. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, but it was like it's, it's not my shit. You know, I mean, pe people do it. Yeah. People do it. You know what I'm saying? I do it. I, I get inspired. But you want to do you. Your, your own. Do your way. thing. Yeah, just still do you. You know what I'm saying? But it's a road. Day. It's all good. You know, it's all good that if you can show that that you can touch all all the areas. A lot of people fuck up in that, doing that. Tip fuck up doing that. My man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I know, like, I know. I love him. You know what I'm saying? I love him. <laughs> we, 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 we talked about it, and it's just like he knows that I know, but everybody else doesn't know. You know what I'm saying? That that's one of the funkiest niggas. I, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it's like it, like the amplified album. You know what I'm saying? And then the uh, shit after that that didn't come out was the Kamal Farid album that I. I didn't have anything to do with that album, but it's just like, I was just upset at how the people took to it, because I, I, I know what he's capable of, you know? and it's hard for a producer slash MC, because if you're known for beats as I am, it's hard to do, you know, if you, you can't be an MC and a producer, you know, be respected. Well, how do you mix your own raps? I mean, you, it's like, you don't see yourself as a rapper. It's like, Right, right right now what I'm doing is like like what I've been doing like the last three years all production yeah. like uh, what I'm doing is folk, just trying to get my name out I'm, I still consider myself underground very underground I, I want to I want to get across there and still do what I do and not have to um, do a beat that sounds like this or do this or some commercial like Wu-Tang Wu-Tang RZA keeps his shit you know what I'm saying and it gets played on the radio constantly it's everywhere attitude that, that's, that's what I'm I'm after you right. yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, a few things have made it. A few things have barely surfaced. You know what I'm saying? Barely surfaced. And, 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 and it's, it's better over... It's, it's more love over here, you know what I'm saying, too, than over in the States. When I make my music, you know what I'm saying, I, I, want, I want people to feel what I feel. I, I want them to feel that energy that I, whatever it was. Yeah, that, that's all it is. Because I, I make it straight from the heart. So it's like, to be taken for anything else is crazy to me. When people get upset, you know, people take... You know, yeah, 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 you know.
Would that. you ever make uh, a beef for uh, Wack MC who got cash? <laughs> That's a good question. How do you pick the MCs, now, man? How did Frank and Dan came it's on? It's like, like uh, him, man. It's a good question. <laughs> it, it, it's hard. Like, like Frank and Dan, yeah, that, that, they just grew up. They, that, they were right there. Like you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I can't. It's like, sometimes. Yeah, you know, I can't say anything, but. Cause I, it's, it's hard because I, I appreciate them want to work with me and you know what I'm saying and want to get me out there more you know what I'm saying it, it helps me out also so it's, it's good sides but then it's like like I did I did a few things recently y'all y'all gonna be surprised a few new artists that came out you know I, you're ashamed of what you know I'm proud of the work and I'm proud that they took a chance with my shit you know what I'm saying that's what I'm proud of but it's like I, I know how I know how people in mass I'm a DJ you know what I'm saying and, and I, I know crowd and how people take to records and shit, and it's not, you know, it's not that deal. You know, it's it's a lot of things that come out. You know, what I'm saying I'm proud of. Just I'm I'm a hard, I'm a very hard critic on my shit. You know, what I'm saying so. It's like it's hard for me to really like ride around and listen to some shit of my own. You know, what I'm saying like especially once it's laid and once it's done. Like I listen to the mix of it for a few times, and it's that's it. I hear it when it, when the it wax come out, but um. Duale's finally about to drop. Finally, um, yeah, yeah, right, right. You know, it, it got around bootleg version, drop here and there. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but it's like you know that good music in service. But he will be coming out. Um, they, it's not through Virgin though. It's not through Virgin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's Rope Dope Atlantic. But I can double check. Um, Fat Cat through Hollywood Records. I only did two joints. Um, I rhymed on the joint with um, and Little Man did the beat. The production on that. Mm -hmm. Look for that. QD, I'm not hip. I haven't heard anything. No? You know, that's yeah, my man. Yeah. 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 Okay. But, uh, you know, I, I know he's working, you know what I'm saying? But um, we're trying to pop him a deal. You know, anything anything I get, you know, I always pass it along to him. So, so. So yeah, QD, QD, um, Frank and Dank, of course, Hollywood Records. Well, Frank and Dank, uh, that was Dank, right? Yeah, Dank, yeah. Where's Frank? Frank is in the D, he's like... It's not like yeah, Frank and Dank? No, no, Dank it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like two people, right, right. You want to ask that question still, man? Come on, come on, you still get the same point. No, it's like, it's like, it's like, like right, 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 yeah. it's like, um... It's like Slick it's like, Rick, it's like, it's like, it's like, I don't, I don't... I don't consider them the greatest MCs. I, I like the feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I, I, I like working with them. You know what I'm saying? It's like the vibe that I, I get working with them. And shit. When I heard this stuff, it yeah. was like slum, but a yeah, 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 yeah. That's that, that's aggressive. It's like, yeah, like, like yeah, it was like more like a street slum, like like you said, like more exactly. more aggressive. So it was just automatic to work with them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's family. It's like slum. It's so easy. It's like they have the same work ethic. Let's just do something. You know same city, man. Yeah, same city. Like, Right, right around the corner, you know what I'm saying? Detroit what? <laughs> um, anybody else? Uh, uh, um, from the D. Oh, Guilty. Uh, look for this guy named Guilty Simpson. He is ridiculous. Um, yeah. Coming from the D, man. He's down with D12 and the Nine Porter that's down with, with Dre now. So I know he's going to be sprinkled on the uh, Chronic 2. Me and Dre are basically the sole producers of this next Bilal album. Like he got four, he got four or five cuts, I got four or five cuts. You know what I'm saying? They milk it down. I think um what's his name? Dave West got one in um Mike City, is that his name? Mike City. Yeah, somebody. But yeah, just yeah, Bilal shit is it's gonna be crazy. Bilal song over um African rhythms, uh, from the Welcome to Detroit shit. Yeah, the intro. Oh. Yo. 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 So that's the boomer stuff you got there. Woo! Yo, look. That shit, oh no, for his, for his joint, for his joint, he's like singing over that shit, bro. That shit gonna be stupid, oh man, I, I can't wait for that shit, but um, the Daylight shit, uh, two joints on, on the new Daylight, uh, um, oh, be, well, be real, oh, the, with the last one, oh, that, that shit, they all came down to the D. It came to the D. Yeah, it all came to the D. That's that's what I'm saying. So it, it was my first time actually working with Be Real, and I was a Cypress Hill fan. All, you know what I'm saying? So it was like part of the dream. You know what I'm saying? A little, a little piece of the puzzle filled, but that shit was crazy. And to hear him talk about smoking weed over my beat, it was just like, oh my god, like whoa, whoa. But you know what I'm saying? That's ultimate. That's like I said, I, I'm still a fan of this hip hop shit. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. It's still part of the dream. It's still part of it. I can't believe it. The common, okay, for me, it, it, it's 
Okay, it's definitely not a common album. No. But it's but it's common. Okay, and I explain it like this. It's like um it's it's not what people expected. I already, I already know, like I said, from being a DJ and no kind of knowing what little knowing people want or what hear dance in the clubs. Right. You, you know, you can you can change, but you gotta have something that connects you to you know your fan base and to what they what they know from you, you know what I'm saying? But what my man did this album, the electric circus, he did not want to do anything that sounded like anything he has ever done. Or anything that anybody has ever done. So I'm giving him yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm giving him beats, like crazy shit that I wish I saved and sold to somebody else, anything, just, I'm talking about crazy shit. I'm working hard, I'm talking about, he'd be like, mm, no, 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 more. I'm like, ah, all right, fuck, you know what I'm saying, it made me mad, all right, I did some crazy, Wow, shit, so, 120 BPM. So you like that. Oh, oh yeah, like comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's different. Like that's uh that's in house, like Frank and Dak. And they actually there while I'm doing the beats and till I get a yay or nay. You know, I, and and when I when I do the beats, I, I tell them like I'm just working. This may not be for you, you know what I'm saying? But if you hit, if you like it, let me know. You save so, everything. Yeah. Oh, everything. I, I try to save everything, even the crazy shit. You, know, you never know. Oh man. Oh you, know, oh, you know what I did too? Breathing style, I gotta tell you. Um, I did the beat and I did not save it first. So what actually came out was me trying to redo the beat. It's like the beat, I tell the people, that, that's, that was one of my craziest joints. But I, I, I lost the disc and I had to re-chop the drums. It's impossible to make your own. Yes, yes, yes. It was like, I wish people could hear the original. It was just like, it sounded so much different. But you know, Tip took it as it. But that shit happens every so often. What it was like in the time that Five Dogs came out and Q-Tip came out? It was the same sound, man. That was crazy. It was like a battle going on. Yeah, yeah, I was like... It was crazy for me, like I said, because they that, they really brought me into it, you know what I'm saying, and, and introduced me to everybody, you know what I'm saying, this whole tribe thing. So to see them and that whole beefing thing, and it prepared me, really, for the Slum Village thing, as I spoke with earlier. It's like to see them argue and come to blows and behind stage. And, in the middle. Yeah, and I'm like, this is a tribe called Quest, you know what I'm saying? Like, if people knew, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking. Being, you know, saying like I said, an active part of this, this movement we're trying to do, whatever. But like I said, to see that and then to be in my own situation and the same type of shit, it's just like, uh, I can't do it. Like, I can't. I'm not even gonna try to do the Wu Tang and be fake and smiling on stage like, ah, and, ah you know, what I'm saying I, I, I don't even wanna put myself through it. I'd rather work production and do what I do. So that's what I did. I, How'd you pick the beats for the, um, for the instrumental album? Majid actually um, came over my crib. He, he, it was an idea he had. Just, let's, like, let's do it real quick. Like I said, the, the last few months I've been really doing a lot of that promotion. I got a few things coming out of J Lib, you know. Just a few little things coming out. Oh, check for the um, Rough Draft EP on Groove Attack Records. Check for that. That's, I, sh I should have, we should have vinyl. 10 day white labels, and I don't know when they're gonna release it, release it, but check for that. <laughs> and it features my man Guilty Simpson, and I was uh, telling you. So, um, what was I talking about? See, I, I don't forgot about that. Yeah, oh yeah, they're picking the instrumentals. Okay, all right, so so yeah, like, like I said, back to the YG shit. Like, he came over my crib, it was just an idea, and um, I had all these old dats from try days to. Like Don't all of those shit, yeah, yeah, all that. So we was going through all these old dats and picking all these crazy beats. And, and, and how he just came up with those that happened to make the album, the album was um, he picked, he picked the beats that he thought needed instrumental. Um, like like it was one Buster joint that never came out, his label Buster on there, that he wanted to hear. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, Bling, the Bling 47 project is kind of YG's direction as far as the choice and the beats. But it, like I said, just all come from. The Archives of the old beats. I got the beat CDs yeah. and just the shit that never get used or just sitting on the shelf, you know, shit like that. Yeah, because there's, there's some shit on there that I think. Right. Damn, like, when you saw like, yeah, right. a new one, it's only an instrumental show. So, yeah, oh, it's two, volume two and three coming out, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's putting out more beats and that's going to be through um, Rope Dope Atlantic. They, they picked up Bling 47's yeah. little thing, yeah, so I'm like, cool, that, that's good. That's good. Though. So, 
more beats, more exposure. You know, trying to trying to set it off. But I got this question. I mean, fuck the police. Oh yeah. This shit, the, um, my little world. Oh man. So um, it's like what um the samples you use for that one? I mean, I'm a beat player. Yeah, right. Yeah, see. But the samples you use in that one. Uh, yeah, just like yeah, 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 I'm say. It okay, was, was, but Madlib came out with that first. Yeah. With the, uh, yeah. yeah. Yo, look. Dusty Fingers. Um, no, it was a, a KPM uh, compilation. I heard it first look, with Dusty Fingers. Oh, I took it straight from that record. <laughs> Yo, when I heard, cause I remember I heard the Madlib, uh, was it an interlude or something yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, no, we didn't use that shit, yeah, I'm like. So when I, when I heard the original, I was just like, fuck that shit. Cause um, I think, I think uh, Up Above had asked me some shit. And, and that was back in the time when I used to do the shit and send it to him. You know, and, and yeah, and they, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, they, it was cool. They, they took the first shit that I sent them. So, so that's okay when uh, yeah. when you, you uh, when Matt let put your shit on. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I guess you can say that. Yeah, I don't always think about that. I, I guess Matt Lib, uh, they, they did to do that to me. Mad I guess. Lib. Yeah, 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 damn. Okay, man. So. Damn, that's fun. If you would ever bust solo raps, Okay. Over uh, beats from other cats. Oh, okay. okay. Do that? Yes, 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 yes. See, um, that's what I was talking about with the album I was doing uh, through MCA. Um, of course, Pete, right? P. Ross. Dre. Rockwilder. Rockwilder. High Tech. Rockwilder? I like it. I like it. High Tech. Yeah. You know, talking about the cloning type of shit. You know, like people ask me about that. <clears throat> All right, it's like this. I love his shit. You know yeah, it's, it's, it's I, great I, music. I, but, I love it. But it it, it, <laughs> it it reminds me of things. You know what I'm saying? When, when I hear it, I'm like, okay, you know, sound like some. You know, sound good. The shakers sound like you know. Remind me of the shakers on uh, the Badu remix. <laughs> you know, remind me of the, you know things like that. But but he has his own thing. You know what I'm saying? He, he does have his own feel. But it's like some beats that he have. Like the shit on, on the new Snoop album that he has. It's, it's ridiculous. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's high tech. It's great, but. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, it does, it's, it's not like the uh, the blast. It was, it was just direct. Shit like that, I, you know, like I, like I said, I, I respect it, but it's another side to it. As long as they understand and they know that they got to do them. I mean, a lot of people don't, you know what I'm saying? And you can't stop. It's, it's so many Im similar imitators. But, you know, it's, it's not a lot of Dre imitators because a lot of people can't do what Dre did, nah, you know what I'm saying? And, and sound authentic Dre, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people... But it's like when you have shit like that, when, I, when I'm chopping up break beats and shit like that, where uh, any any producer can pick that record up and yeah. you know chop that shit, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's that Tony Braxton joint, man. That was like, is it is it is it beat uh, not? Right, is it right, JD? right, right. And then suddenly yeah, I heard like that, beat yeah. rock. Nah, it wasn't. Yeah, right, right. It's like like man, like, like nah, no, nah. Right. See, shit like that. Ah, can't stand that shit. You know? Oh, you know what's a good example? Check for the um. What is it? Why I gotta be like that? Far side. Okay. And then listen to Do For Love by Tupac. And it's, which is produced by what, some soul something. Yeah, and it's like the the guy basically chopped my my record. It's like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like made a big worldwide hit well over in the States, you know what I'm saying? That was a big hit. Mm -hmm. and it was my my fucking tune. <laughs> yeah, and it's like that was kind of in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? When I learned, when I learned about that shit, and people can just take your shit and sample it and rap over it, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's D'Angelo. Oh yeah, man. Oh man, Quest. Everybody, um, Jeff Lee, James Poyser. Everybody's having to be Aquarius. Okay, that's like people who feel each other, yeah, frequency yeah. related. It's like, guys. um, yeah, everybody, like, and I never knew, like, this, it was so weird how this happened. Um, it was like, I think right before the Voodoo album, in the studio. Amir knew that he was, you know, of course, he was Aquarius, and then he knew James Poor is Aquarius, mm -hmm. and D'Angelo was. So he, he thought that was bizarre that's already. logical, I mean, Right, he thought that was bizarre. Then when we just happened to talk one day in the session, like, found out I was a queer. So he's like, whoa. Happened to ask Jeff Lee, the guitar player, 
Mm-hmm. Yo, he was like, yo, 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 yo. That's what he said. He said, yo, tell. He's like, do not tell me your query. He's like, yeah, yeah. You know, cool ass Jeff. <laughs> that was it. We put everything down, and it was like, this. What the fuck is going on? It, is it something like, official? Yo, it was like nobody knew. I, I mean, I, I didn't. I had no no knowledge. I've been working with these cats for months. You know what I'm saying? Just vibing with them, listening to their shit. D'Angelo is crazy. You know what I'm saying? This dude is. He reminds me like Stevie Wonder, man. Like, just natural. Like, he just touched the keys and it's just like, oh, I want to sample it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Amir is stupid with the drums, man. It was just like James Boys are crazy. All these cats are just talented in so many other areas. And then here I come. All I knew how to do is work the NPC and, yeah, and you yeah. know, shit like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I brought something different to the table. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can add something to this shit. Sample some of Mir's drums. Right. Like Sampling is art. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I how it. many times James Brown flipped this film? Oh, I love hey. it. Oh, I love it. Vibe it? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh. Oh, come on, man. Man, oh, I just chopped up uh, It's a Man's World recently. Shit. I, I can't stay away from James Brown. I, I want to do a beat funky drama, but it's, it's so hard to do that. Yeah. Whoever does that, if you do it, he's the man. You heard it here first. If you do a beat with funky drama. I would never do a beat with Funky Drum. <laughs> no, never that, man. It's done. I cannot do uh, it better like, than that. Uh, I'm like, cats. man, I, I know this. I'm like, damn, it, but it's a way. If you can do it better, then. It's a way. Yeah, it's a way. That's what it's always a way. It's when I go. I, 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 do, I do that sometimes. I always come back. Should I fuck with it? Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, nah. Cut off, you know what I'm saying? But I'll come back to that shit. Like, I'm, I'm about to I chop up that uh, Funky Drum shit. Yeah, fuck that. What I do naturally is listen to you break beats and chop shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I come from that hip hop shit. So it's like, yeah, you know, 45. So, oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh. Well, my, my, my last volumes that, that I'm actually shopping, like this year, has all been from Dusty Finger albums, 45 compilations. No time for break. No. I'm, I'm looking for straight, break, common break beats, just shit that's been used. Like I said, you know, substitutes. I, I just fucked with substitutes. When original stuff, I, I was. And now you know how we do it, Jake Dilla setting it off. Uh!